Hello, and thank you for joining me for Give Him 15. The title of our post today is 2022, Our Jericho Year. And before I read this post, I want to thank all of my friends for helping me out last week. We had some good time off, and I know you enjoyed their posts as well as I did. 2022, one of, if not the most important years of our lives. But first, since this is the first Give Him 15 post of the year, Happy New Year, and may 2021 vanish quickly. Now, regarding 2022, first, the bad news, America is a mess. The crisis is huge, the battle is monumental, and the stakes are winner take all. I just watched an OAN news report showing a Lutheran church with a man dressed in drag teaching small children, God knows what, about the Christmas story. The tagline read, Lutheran Church offers drag queen prayer time to children. Founder Luther, we could use another thesis or two. I switched channels to find something less infuriating. Fox News' Brian Kilmeade was talking about the fentanyl now coming over the southern border. It is up 300% since Biden and the Dems took over, a record 100,000 people died last year from overdoses. It is now the leading cause of death to those ages 18 to 45. Why don't we hear about this from our leftist government and their media arm? Don't they know this is happening? Of course they do. But their power-crazed hearts have allowed their consciences to be seared. The end for them now justifies the means. Some pawns simply must be sacrificed in order for tyrants and despots to satisfy their insatiable lust for power. Several million more illegals means votes for those who let them in. Other consequences be damned. It is despicable and ugly, but it is reality. I could depress, discourage, or anger you, depending on your frame of mind when you read this, with several more disgusting and horrible results of our evil government, abortion, economy, Afghanistan, emboldened dictators and terrorists who want to destroy us, lockdowns, fear-mongering, socialism, demented leaders, wokeism, but I will spare you the details. Besides, you are the choir. No point in preaching to you and giving you heartburn. I'm sure you know by now that the left is a movement under the complete control of spiritual antichrist forces. They do want to destroy the America you and I have known and loved and completely transform it into a godless, amoral, socialistic country. They do. Please remember this. And though in their incredible deception, most on the left aren't aware that their insane beliefs are demonic, this makes them no less dangerous. Now for some encouragement. We can stop them. Beyond being able to do so, we are called to. And we have arrived at the year in which we can break through. This is the year 
we can see evil roots uprooted and leftist anti-Christ momentum stopped. This is the year we save America. Please listen carefully. That does not mean the war will be over. In fact, it will intensify. And the breakthrough will not be because of the midterms, though they are immeasurably important, nor will it be because we finally conduct the right gathering, implement the right strategy, or follow the right leader. All of these things are good and necessary, but there is no one thing we will finally get right or do right that will produce this. On the contrary, we have been on a conquering, possessing, multi-year siege which has created a Kairos window of opportunity and the Ecclesia will seize it. 2022 is the window year, the momentum shift year, the Jericho year. It isn't the possess all the promised land year, but we can now break the back of the entrenched evil the spiritual forces of darkness and their quest to destroy America's destiny and stop the coming worldwide harvest. This victory will allow individuals to be successful with the reformational changes we need in government, education, media, and so on. Our prayers will empower their actions their actions will accomplish our prayers. Both are essential. We cannot do it without them. They cannot do it without us. Let me reemphasize the last statement. They cannot do it without our prayers. Trump can't. Jim Jordan, Ron DeSantis, Ted Cruz, and other good government leaders can't. Wise educators can't. Good media sources can't. And strong spiritual leaders can't. Prayer is the fuel that powers the engine. It births the plan of God and blocks the plans of Satan. It uproots, tears down. Builds and plants, binds and looses. An appeal to heaven birthed our nation, and an appeal to heaven will save and rebirth America. It still works. As prophetic intercessors, we must step up our game in the first quarter of this year. I will say more about this in the coming days. I've been sensing both the opportunity I spoke of above and the intensified efforts of darkness to stop it. I am appealing to all who follow me, be very diligent in prayer over the coming months. Enlist as many others as you can to join the efforts. If you feel it helps, Start by reading this post and begin by praying with me. Holy Spirit will lead with further prayers. If you aren't part of a prayer group, a good prayer group, find one. If you can't find one, start one. It can be in person or by phone, morning or, in, or evening, in homes, churches, offices. Just pray. My good friend Chuck Pierce told me last week that, quote, from now till March 21, our future, speaking of America, our future hangs in the balance. Get positioned properly. End quote. Let me read it again. From now till March 21, our future hangs in the balance. Get positioned properly. I have been and will continue to diligently seek the Lord's direction on this. 
I'm also planning some longer podcasts to bring needed prophetic teaching regarded, regarding where we are currently in America, how we got here, and what God is doing to change this. This will not only help you pray more effectively, but will clear up confusion and even discouragement. And they will be teachings you can pass along, not only by rec recommending them, but also by teaching them yourselves to congregations and small groups. We will grow together. Get ready for a tumultuous but victorious year. Thank you for joining us in this spiritual, eternal cause. Multiplied millions of souls hang in the balance. And we, the Ecclesia, will tip the scales. We will. Pray with me, please. Father, we thank you for your wisdom and foreknowledge. We thank you for the assurance we find in knowing you are never taken by surprise and never without a plan. You have declared the end from the beginning, and it shall be so. Yet, our prayers and obedience to your plans and purposes have a bearing on timing and the level at which we experience the privilege of partnering with you. We do not want to be like Moses' gener Moses' Moses's generation, missing their opportunity and requiring your postponing of it until Joshua and the next generation. We want to be a people that, when you looked ahead in your foreknowledge, you found faithful, knowing they would not miss their opportunity. We believe we are a Joshua generation of Caleb's and conquerors. And may your grace be poured out, making this even more so. Give us a victory in the Dobbs case regarding abortion. End Roe v. Wade by giving us at least five justices that hear your heart and make your ruling regardless of how you have to do it. Whatever level of pressure you have to bring, whatever method you, you choose, please do this. May this case position America to end Baal's reign over us, making possible the healing of our land. And we pray that you orchestrate an increase of prayer in this pivotal year. We know this is the year. We must break through. Give us direction, revelation, strategies, and heaven's favor as we march around Jericho and begin the conquest of the land. Give us the momentum of revival revival increasing to a higher and powerful level. We believe this is coming and we call it forth in the name of Jesus. Our decree. We decree that 2022 will be the year America is saved. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to the upcoming posts. We're going to move forward this year in this first quarter. We're going to follow God's leading and we're going to get it done. Spread the word. Thank you for helping. Let's keep pressing forward. See you tomorrow. <laughs>